Have you ever been puzzled by why something works in one place but not in another? If you're working with Angular and have run into issues with at view child not functioning inside a directive, you're definitely not alone. Today, we're diving into this common problem and uncovering the reasons behind it. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when you think you've got everything set up correctly, only to find that something isn't working as expected. You're not the only one facing this issue, and it's a common hurdle for many developers. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, why is that view child not working inside a directive, but it works fine in a component? They mentioned trying the after view init lifecycle hook, so they know it's not that. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this issue? The main difference between components and directives in Angular is how they handle view and content queries. Understanding this distinction is crucial for troubleshooting at view child and at content child. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can help you avoid similar issues in the future. To address the issue with the at view child decorator not working inside the directive, the user should first understand the difference between at view child and at content child. The at view child decorator is used to access child components or elements in the view of the component, while content child is used to access projected content. Next, the user should ensure that the directive is applied correctly in the template. The directive must be placed on a parent element that contains the elements the user wants to access with at view child. Then, the user should check the lifecycle hooks being used. The at view child decorator will only be available after the view has been initialized, which means the user should access it in the ng after view init lifecycle hook. Finally, the user should verify that the template references are correctly defined. The user should ensure that the template variables like test view div are correctly referenced in the directive. Fun fact, did you know that Angular was originally developed as a way to simplify web application development? It has come a long way since then, but some quirks still trip us up. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that there are three types of directives in Angular, components, structural directives, and attribute directives. They clarify that only components have a template, which is why at view child works in components but not in directives. For more details, you can read about Angular directives in the official documentation. Here's a pro tip. Always double check your directive selector and ensure it matches the template where you're trying to use it. This small detail can save you a lot of headaches. And there you have it. With these insights, you should be able to troubleshoot at view child issues in directives effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on Angular development.